right, students, it's time for today's lesson on planet Earth before it became uninhabitable due to hurricanes of beef jerky and Axe body spray deodorant. Oh, oh man, Miss Nebula. I, haven't we learned enough about the 21st century? At least the 22nd century has android walrus orgies. I think you'll find today's lesson a little different, Xander. We'll be discussing a country once called America. What makes America different than any other country we've studied? France, Japan, Colombia, they all had windmills and vegetables. Mmm, vegetables. America was a bit different, Nova. All right, uh, we begin today's lesson by discussing America's greatest art. Is that raisins? No, Nova, these were known as truck nuts. Mmm, truck nuts. What are truck nuts? Truck nuts were synthetic genitalia hung on the back of large vehicles. Why hang genitals on vehicles? It was how they expressed their sexual desires. It's how males expressed their desire for genitalia in the southern region of the country. Like Georgia O'Keeffe's vagina flowers in the 20th century? Exactly. It was the biggest symbol of gay pride besides the rainbow flag. Next, we are going to discuss culture in America. Why is it another picture of Gen genitalia. Is the penis illustration related to truck nuts? This is not genitalia. It's the borders of the most southeastern state in America. Why haven't we, why have we not seen any images of this from the satellites? It's underwater. But all of the archival footage from the news in the 21st century focused on Florida Man, which appears to have been several men in Florida. I thought when we went over the 20th century that you said the capital of America was Washington, D.C. Yes, but it appears to have changed in the 21st century. Most of the conditions that ultimately destroyed America were championed most by Florida's culture of death. But a culture of death is illogical. Florida led the way in not wearing protective masks to prevent infectious diseases. That cannot be correct. Just listen to these headlines. Florida man eats bath salts and chews off another man's face. Florida man dies while surfing during a hurricane. Florida man is killed while attempting to have sex with an alligator. Mmm, sex, alligator. All these headlines align perfectly with the culture of death. They sought to catch infectious diseases. All of this ultimately led to the destruction of the country before the entire planet was destroyed with the aftermath of America's hurricanes of beef jerky and Axe body spray. But why would any human wish to self-destruct? That can be explained in our final topic, religion. Christianity? <laughs> nope. Buddhism? <laughs> yeah, right. Sex alligators? Close, dozer, but no. Guns. The religion of America is guns. Another phallic symbol? We assume it must be due to the shape and connection to Florida and truck nuts, but the important thing is that these phallic objects explains the culture of death. How so? These objects were used to kill human beings, but they did not prohibit them. In fact, when the rest of the world banned them, America increased their gun production. But why? We can only assume that it's a spiritual belief in a gun-centric afterworld. And Americans routinely allowed children to be murdered by guns in classrooms just like this one, but did nothing to restrict access to it. Not even a little bit? Not even a little bit. In fact, sales actually increased of America's most deadly weapon, the AR-15. What did the AR stand for? Given the weapon's phallic shape and extraordinary length and power, we can only assume anal rejuvenation. Similar to the homosexual truck nuts and the penis-shaped Florida? Exactly. America had a culture of death which arose from its religion of guns and its rituals of child sacrifice and anal sex. Mmm, child sacrifice. America really is exceptional. Yes. We'll pick up this lesson tomorrow about 21st century America when we discuss how the guns became artificially intelligent and rebelled against their master.